calls for calm have been intensified in Mion in the northern region following a tribal clash at Zobe on Tuesday. The conflict erupted over a piece of land leading to gunfire, casualties and property damage. On Wednesday, the Northern Regional Security Council visited the area to promote peace. Channel 1's Northern Regional Correspondent Mohamed Aminu M. Alabira provides more in this report. On Tuesday, the northern region was on a high alert after news broke of a dispute between the Dagombes and Konkombes in Zogbe Meang district over land ownership. The tension arose when the regent of Meang allocated land for development, which the Konkombes of Zogbe claim as their farming area. Resistance from the Konkombes led to an armed confrontation, resulting in one fatality, multiple injuries, and property damage. The military and police quickly intervened to restore order. On August 7th, the Northern Regional Security Council, led by the Northern Regional Minister, visited the area to call for peace. At the Meang Palace in Sambu, Brigadier General Frank T, General Officer Commanding Northern Command, urged residents to stay calm as efforts to ensure peace continue. He made this statement at the Meang Lam Palace. Our appeal to everyone as uh, the frontliners in security is that everybody should remain calm. The issue that has come up is being handled by the appropriate bodies. That is why we are here this morning for stakeholders' engagement. The few arrests that were made from yesterday uh, up to now, it is for our own protection, for our own good, so that the situation doesn't de-escalate into other areas. Northern Regional Minister Honorable Ada Santiani Saibu appealed to the public to avoid using social media as it exacerbates the tension. We have some piece of advice for the general public, especially social media commentators, because all this would have been managed but for the escalation of this to the social media. So it's just an issue of the conflict between the two parties contending over ownership of supply. But these are the issues that order is, and it's very worrying. The team also visited the overlord of Dagon, Yana Mahama Abubakar II, at the Bewa Palace to assure him of ongoing peace efforts. Similar messages were conveyed to the Concomba community during a subsequent visit. Earlier, some male youth expressed concern over alleged military brutality and urged the minister to address the issue. Travelers from Tamale to the eastern destinations including Yendi, Bimbila, Zabzugu, Kerpuni, Wulensi, and Pandai face disruptions. The Konkomba Youth Association issued a statement calling for peace. Following the recent visit, relative calm has returned to the area.